616 here on Daybreak. Many families still in town and they're looking for something fun to do. Well, the zoo has a treat for you tomorrow. The Buffalo Zoo getting ready for Santa's arrival and a whole lot of light. Zoo lights at the Buffalo Zoo is back. It's bigger, better than ever. Daybreak's Lauren Hall has a preview for us this morning. Lauren, hey there. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Heather. This was a new tradition that the Buffalo Zoo introduced back in 2019. They couldn't do it last year because of the pandemic, but yeah, it's back and it's bigger. There are more lights and more activities this year and all the fun starts tomorrow night at 530. So Christian Dobashevitz is with us and we are standing in the middle of these pretty cool light up arches. Yeah, so this is our tunnel of lights here at the zoo. It's a Definitely going to be a, a, a fan favorite. I think it's just cool being in here um, with all the, the changes and, and, and all that. So it's it's awesome. And this is a walkthrough experience. It's not a drive through. So you come to the zoo after hours, park your car, get out, check out the lights. And there's a ton more to do, too, other than just look at the lights. Yeah, so we've got our train operating that, uh, you know, everybody can take a train ride. Uh, we have a cool build your own uh, hot cocoa um, station um, and Santa will be here as well. So just something else fun to do with the family this holiday season and everything's outside. You know, people may be concerned about indoor activities right now or rethinking them, but this is a completely outside experience. Yeah, the zoo is always a great place to come, especially with everything that's going on where you can be outside and socially distant. Um, and then here, you know, you get to see the lights, which is, you know, something new. Our team here has put in a ton of work past few months getting it ready. So we're really excited to show it off. Only downside is if you come to Zoo Lights, no animals. This is not an animal experience. You got to come during the day for that. But you are open today if people are looking for something that's not shopping related to do. Maybe they did all their online shopping already. Yeah, the zoo uh, right now, we're in our winter hours, so we're open on the weekends, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, for regular zoo visitation. And then we'll be open Zoo Lights on weekends throughout December. Um, and then there'll be a week, uh, the Christmas week leading up, where we'll be open every day for Zoo Lights. Do you need tickets in advance? You don't, but we recommend that you do. You can go to buffalozoo.org. There's a ton of different packages uh, with, you know, VIP packaging and, and, and uh, you know, food vouchers and all that stuff. So go check it out, and you can see all the, the packages there at buffalozoo.org. Christian, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We're going to send things back to Heather and Patrick. And it is, guys, it is lightly, I don't even know if you can see it, but there are some light flurries coming down here. Maybe Patrick can let us know uh, what the weather will be like for the opening of Zoo Lights tomorrow night. Yeah, it looks festive out there.